Hello my fashion friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. So for today's video I wanted to talk to you guys about the basic office essentials when it comes to your wardrobe. These are the foundational pieces you guys need in order to build a nice classic work wardrobe so that you're always going to have something to wear for work. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first things you're going to need, I'm already kind of wearing a lot of the pieces now, but the first thing is going to be a nice crisp white button-down shirt with a collar. Now, this is uber professional. This is very basic for the workplace. Everyone needs one of these. This is one of those um, really nice foundational pieces that will go with everything. So you're going to need a nice white button-down. I just have this one here. It's just really nice and flowy with chiffon material. I just went ahead and tucked it in and left the back kind of untucked like that. And so this is just a really important foundational piece that you're going to need. And then the next thing is right here in the middle. You're going to need a brown belt. Now I uh, personally prefer thin belts instead of wide belts, but get any belt you want to, but you're definitely going to need a nice brown belt to really accentuate uh, your outfit and to hold your pants up. Um, so this is an essential piece right here. And then you're also going to need some black slacks. This one is pretty much a given. Everyone needs black slacks in their work wardrobe. These work with everything. Now for me, I have skinny pants. Um, you can do wide leg if you wanted to. You can do straight leg. You can do flared. But for me, I think the um, a skinny pant is really modern and it's really in the now and so um, and it's also very slimming and so I prefer the uh, skinny pant instead of like any other one this is my favorite one so this is definitely one that you're going to need and then at the bottom with my shoes I just have some nude pumps right here these are not too high these are about three and a half inches, not too high. So you're definitely gonna need a pair of nude pumps as well because they're gonna go with pretty much anything. And they are very professional and the height is also a very professional height as well. So these are just some starter pieces that you're going to need. All right, so here are the next items. So for the top half, you're also going to need a black button down to counteract the white button down. So it's the exact same button down. This is just in a black color. It still has the buttons with the collar detail on it. Just really nice and professional, really classy, really flowy and just easy to throw on. And then you're also going to need a black pencil skirt as well. I prefer high-waisted and the midi length and so this is a really good professional length you look really professional you look like you're there to work and you know what you're doing and so this is definitely an essential foundational piece for your work wardrobe and then on my feet I just have some black pumps as well so just like the nude ones you're also going to need a pair of black ones these are about three and a half inches high so a very professional height and so these shoes just round off the outfit nicely you can have leather shoes if you wanted to you can have suede you can have velvet just as long as you have a nude pair and a black pair those scream professional and um, one thing also realize is that these are foundational pieces so of course you can use the white button down with this outfit instead of the black one where the white one or for the first outfit you can put the black button down with your black slacks so all of these different clothing pieces are interchangeable and you can make many different outfits wearing the exact same pieces just paired differently okay and next you're going to need a blush blazer blush is a great neutral color it plays on the nudes and the tans and the peachy pinks so blush is a great foundational piece it goes with everything and then you're also going to need a white blazer as well white of course is a neutral color it goes with everything it's a great foundational piece and color and then I have that same brown belt that I was talking about so I utilize the same belt in a different outfit and then if you can wing it get you some white pants as well these are some white slacks some skinny slacks I know white is really hard to keep clean but white is a great foundational piece 
for your office wardrobe and then I just have the same shoes the same nude shoes that I had on in the very first outfit so obviously I'm using them again because they go with many different things um, and so all these outfits like I said are interchangeable so for example the black button down you could wear with this outfit instead of the blush one you can even wear the white button down instead as well if you want to go for an all white look you can change up the shoes instead of having these nude shoes you can wear the black shoes if you have the black um, blouse underneath so all these things are interchangeable as well okay and then I just went ahead and changed my shoes because you're also going to need some kind of subtle animal print and so the animal print are on the shoes these are leopard print pumps and so these play really nicely with the rest of the outfit these shoes would even look great with some black slacks as well so you're going to need just some nice kind of minimal animal print to pull the entire outfit together or you can use animal print for your blouse as well so instead of this nude blouse you can put animal print on the inside and see that that would work <laughs> that looks kind of weird see that that will work nicely too just go ahead and tuck it in and you should be good to go but animal print works as well animal print looks really good with white and black and even red too so animal print is just something that you're going to need something subtle nothing too in your face um, I think leopard is one of the most neutral of the animal prints so leopard is usually my go-to when it comes to animal print bridges get yourself a nice blouse a skirt some shoes just some kind of animal print but just be careful though when you are wearing animal print you only want the animal print to be on one piece so for example if i was going to wear this shirt i would not wear the shoes that i just showed you and if I was going to wear the shoes, then I would not wear the shirt. I would only pick one thing to be animal print. Okay, so next you're going to need a classic blue and white vertical striped blouse. This is great for the workplace. It's a great neutral. So I just have this one that I left untucked just kind of to give it a little bit more of a casual vibe. But it, it's still uh, business and professional. And then you're going to need a black blazer. You guys know I always say this every single time. The white and the black blazer is a must. Um, for your wardrobe in general but even more specifically for the workplace so I just paired it with my nice fitted blazer here same black pants from the first outfit so as you can see I'm using the same pants I just switched up the top half and then it's the same nude pumps from before so once again all these um, different items play very well together and mix and match them to get different outfits with the same pieces so this is just something else that you're going to need and I just realized that I don't have these but um, you're also going to need gray slacks as well I, for some reason I guess just in my life I never bought gray slacks but you are going to need gray slacks as well I think even gray slacks with this top half will look really good too um, so just make sure you get yourself a gray pair I think maybe because I've never seen one that I really liked that's why I don't have a gray pair for whatever reason but I think gray is a great essential as well and then just to change the blazer up you're going to need a nice nude blazer as well these are very basic neutral colors so these are going to go with everything so right now I think I've said you need a white blazer black blazer a nude blazer you might also want to get some kind of blue blazer as well whether it's a darker tone blue or a lighter tone blue I think having a blue blazer works great too um so definitely get yourself those i think a blue shirt would also work really nicely as well so instead of this um blue and white stripes you can do a solid blue it can be a navy blue dark blue light blue cobalt but i think just something blue just to keep it within those really um like professional colors is definitely essential another great office essential would be kind of a neutral print skirt jacket top shoe just something that is um, fun but it's still neutral with a print so like this one has um, you know some print on it here but the colors are still very neutral with the black and white and the blues and so um, although there's a lot going on because of the print on it it's still professional because the colors are professional now if this was like you know like a hot pink and like a purple and like a yellow I mean I would still wear it but we're talking about you know like basic pieces essential pieces this works very well and then you're also going to want to keep it professional with a nice midi dress a nice um, 
a-line dress just something that is still feminine yet business appropriate so here is just kind of a t-shirt dress it's a midi dress goes all the way down just a nice jersey material this one is really great because obviously it's black it's neutral and pair this with some pumps the nude ones or the black ones like i said and um you should be good to go with this so definitely get yourself just a nice you know just business black dress that would go great in the office place same thing with a gray one this is just the exact same dress just in a gray color now be careful with grays because gray can be professional but it can also be too casual this color gray is kind of on the deeper tone gray so this is what makes it a little bit more business if this was kind of a lighter gray even like a heather gray I think that would be too casual so the darker like charcoal grays look really good in the workplace so just make sure that it's kind of on the darker spectrum of the gray but here is just another dress midi dress here that would be great it's covered the neckline is very high you've got the sleeves so it's still very professional and of course there are tons more but I'm just going to end it off with these you're going to need just a nice fun neutral pair of shoes what I mean by fun neutral pair is to still be in the neutral um, color family and silhouette but still um, you know be kind of fun like these are pointed toe pumps so this is the classic silhouette of the pointed toe which is great for the workplace and then this olive color is a great neutral color as well but it's kind of on the lighter end it's velvet it's got some dimension to it so it's still fun and it is kind of high too so it's fun but it's still you know professional enough it's neutral enough this is great for if you work in a uh, creative environment this could be great in a um, you know business really professional environment as well if you maybe pair this with some black slacks or um, some wide-legged pants and just kind of let the pointed toe part peek through the bottom of your pant but I like these because they're fun but at the same time they're not over the top you can still get away with wearing something like this in the workplace so get yourself a nice fun pair just something that is still in the neutral color family but has a bit of an edge to it too so all these pieces that I showed in this video are great whether you are in an entry level position or if you are at a corner office, executive level position. I think these foundational pieces work great with anywhere on the professional um, spectrum that you fall. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you found that you enjoyed this video, of course I'm going to ask you, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I sure would love to have you join my fashion family. I do a lot of fashion and styling videos on my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button also don't forget to click that notification bell so that you're notified every single time I upload a brand new video thank you guys so much for watching and until next time please come back in a timely fashion